Thank you everyone for coming on uh, Sunday morning. I know it's, it can be pretty rough to get going on a Sunday morning for these sessions, but uh, we're going to get started. Uh, my name is Lewis Bork, and I'm going to be giving the first presentation, but uh, before I actually get into my, my research, I'm going to do a very quick uh, kind of three to four minute overview of about 250 years of anarchist theory, uh, uh, which is pretty diverse, so uh, hold on to your seats. <laughs> um, so anarchist theory has a, has a lot of misconceptions associated with it. Uh, popular definitions often treat it as synonymous with chaos, violence, lawlessness, and mayhem. Um, essentially, a lot of these misconceptions hinge on ideas of disorder versus order, uh, with anarchy falling on the disorder side. Um, yet the term itself actually just conveys a lack of centralized and hierarchical leadership, and that's from Greek, and it means without a chief or a ruler, uh, not without order. Um, so chaos need not apply, I guess, may be uh, a way to go with this. Um, it's an umbrella ideology, and there aren't very many uh, universal descriptors for it. Uh, diversity itself, maybe, is one of the acknowledged features. <clears throat> the ideological distinctiveness of anarchism is often combined with other uh, combinations of, or other ideas and practices to form uh, these different ide ideologies, a, a few of which are up on the screen here. Um, it has been des described as having anti-statism as a minimum category. Uh, that's occasionally rejected as well. Anarchists uh, like to reject things. <laughs> um, but there's a strong tension within anarchist theory between uh, practice and uh, theory. Um, however, both are heavily honed through interactions with other forms of critique, including feminist critique, gender politics, and anti-colonialism. Uh, there's also a really strong concern with transformation within anarchist theory, uh, and that can go in a whole lot of different realms, including economic, religious, racial, social, and sexual injustices. Um, so anarchism, one of the tenets of it is to challenge structures of authority and systems of exploitation. Uh, there's a it's, it's fundamentally anti-elitist and uh, anti-vanguardist, I guess. Um, it's, it's a, a form of, of interactions and transformation take the form of direct actions and do-it-yourself politics. Uh, prefigurization is uh, a, a, one of these ways, and it's the kind of idea of organizing now how you want things to be organized in the future instead of uh, changing things dramatically at this point in time and then fixing it into your utopia idea later on after you've already had the revolution. Um, the meaningful, the idea is kind of that meaningful change can only come from a grassroots uh, and bottom-up organization. And then oftentimes you'll be using self-managed, self-regulated, decentralized networks as alternatives to hierarchical, centralized, and bureaucratic organizational structures. Anarchist thinkers often argue that uh, revolutionary transformation is a continuous process, not a single moment of change. And uh, pr the transformation doesn't have to be eventful then, and it's great for, which that itself is, I think, what can be great for making, or for using anarchist theory within uh, archaeological, uh, or on archaeological data sets, because it's, it's a great method for um, kind of looking at cross-temporal data aggregation. So anarchism itself is also, you know, on the other side of disorder. It's, it's creative, it's experimental, it's productive, and it's imaginative. Um, it kind of focuses around inclusivity, sharing, cooperation, and mutual aid, um, which is actually the uh, name of a book in, within there. Um, anarchy is not uh, a lot of what we're, we're seeing within the modern world right now where it's being used colloquially, like Sons of Anarchy is a TV show that most of you are probably familiar with, as, long, as well as a, a, a movie called The Purge, Anarchy which is often, as I noted earlier, synonymous with violence and irrational disorder. Um, but during this session, what we're hoping to show on some small level is what anarchist theory has to offer archaeologists in modern collaborations, in modern work relationships, uh, and in the interpretation of the past human experience. So is it 250 years? <laughs> um,